Hello, welcome to another episode of Talk with One, a leadership podcast. I'm your host for this episode. In this episode, we have a guest. He is an author for the book Agile Transformation using integral Agile Transformational Framework to think and to lead differently. He is a sensei, a systematic alchemist, and also founder and CEO of a training and consulting company. Let us welcome our guest for this episode, Michael Spain. Thank you, Warren. Nice, nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you for, so much for uh, inviting me mm. and for the, the nice space that you create in, in these podcasts, I think. Thank you. Do you want to share one thing about yourself that we have not mm. known? <clears throat> um, what the thing that comes to mind in this context is um, <clears throat> that I, I've I've uh, been in the business world for a very long time, but I um, have spent a lot of time in spiritual studies, um, <clears throat> Tibetan Buddhism, um, mm -hmm. shamanism, um, various consciousness studies, integral theory, mm -hmm. and. Um, <clears throat> more and more those feel like they come together for me. Mm. They don't, they used to feel like a split and, and like, you know, how could I bring that part in to, to business because there was some edge for people that felt like mm. it was a little too much. Um, mm. and, and, and now that to some extent that ref, ref, reflected a division or a schism within me and and I, I i just feel that less and less and it's more and more important for me to bring what i know from a mystical point of view into uh, business work mm. wow thanks for sharing that mm. i sense that beside the roles that we have just shared you bring in bring yourself in and it's something that we may not used to in the world of business. Yeah. 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 The, um, uh, part of my primary philosophy is that I am the most important tool of transformation that I have mm -hmm. and using myself and all the dimensions of myself is the most useful thing the greatest service to other people mm. if it's if it's if i use it well mm -hmm. self as an instrument mm. uh let us park it for a moment mm. i understand you have a new program called transformational mastery expert coaching program can you share a bit about the program sure well, we started it. We started designing it um, uh, uh, a year ago, and we ran. We've 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 run one completely, and we've we're in the middle of the second one, mm -hmm. and we're about and we're about to start a third. And it's it's really designed for uh, people who are. You know, we have a we have a sort of an introductory program to enterprise coaching called Master Camp. And, and, but this is after that, this is for people who are, are really in the middle of being enterprise coaches or, or, or moving into it and have a, what we call a focal system, a place to focus where they can do that work and where they can demonstrate that work. So it's not at all theoretical or case study based. It's like your real client based. Mm. And it's not, it's not like, mm, um, most uh, kind of basic training programs are knowledge based, like they, they have learning objectives. Um, the Transformation Mastery has competency 
objectives. Mm -hmm. So, so people need to demonstrate their competence around, you know, quite a few skills that are needed to do transformational organizational coaching. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, it's a very intensive program. Mm -hmm. It's very challenging for people. Uh, it's very stimulating. Uh, it's very supportive for people. Like we have somebody that went through the um, the first program and and didn't have everything that uh, she wanted to in terms of um, being able to demonstrate the competencies and whatever. And she 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 had such a good experience of the support that she got from people that she wants to do another cohort with us. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's a little bit like that. It's a little bit like. Um, reading a really good book or seeing a really good movie and you want to, that, that's, that, that's, I don't mean to say that, that that's the usual thing, mm -hmm. but it has that kind of depth to it that, um, that one could do that. And it's, it's really, it's a, it's a, you know, our company is called the collective edge mm -hmm. and, and the intention of it is to work at, the edge, our edge, other people's edge, the ones that, you know, not all of the edges, but the ones that we are uniquely suited to work with. Mm. So you, it's edgy for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As you share that, there are two what kind of like attract my attention. You said that the program is challenging at the same time supporting. I wonder what is the intention behind this? Well, <clears throat> what, what comes to mind is the distinction that we make in classes that we've been making in classes for, for many years between a person being in their comfort zone versus being in their growth zone versus being in their panic Zone. Mm, mm, mm. and you 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 don't want to push people so far that they go into their panic zone that that's not helpful but you also um want to structure it so that they raise out of their comfort zone it's not it's not very growthful to stay in your comfort zone mm, mm, mm. and so the challenge is i mean in 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 challenge and support are what create a container that can hold people in that process because um, because you can't just be challenged without mm. real without real safety and 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 really deep support right deep holding by other people mm. um, it, and also uh that can get too comfy right if it's just supportive mm -hmm. so it's it's also uh, opening up that edge um, mm. for whatever that is for for each of us but also for us as a system. Mm. I can sense that this edge is, is a, an environment that will stress the participant. Mm. At the same time, helping them to stay with it, maybe feel safe to stay with it. Yes. Yes, yes. I, I just wonder, curious, what is behind this environment? What is the thinking behind this? I mean, what we like to bring with this uh, challenging, at the same time supporting environment? What, what do we want to bring with it? Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, I think, I, well, I think the ability to, um, to, to go into our um, uh, uh, vulnerabilities mm -hmm. and things that we're not good at, but also to own our, um, our superpowers. Mm -hmm. You know, people are, people are, mm, People are reluctant to to be vulnerable, but they're almost more reluctant to own how they're great. In my experience, mm. 
and um, like like helping them. I, I I think of it as like stepping into their destiny. Mm. You know, we we each have a really deep calling when we're aligned with spirit, and and the the calling that the, the life force that comes through us that wants something of us. Mm. And it takes um, some some sort of special experiences a lot of times to 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 get us out of the habitual thing that we do and to move us into owning our greatness mm-hmm. and 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 acknowledging our vulnerabilities or our weaknesses um, uh, on the way to that or as, as part of that it's it's all part of the. It's all part of what it means to be a, a real human being, an authentic human being. Yes, I don't know if that answered your. I don't know if that responded to your question or not, one. But yes, there's one. Yeah, say whatever you want. There's one insight that come to me that to be myself, I need to own the vulnerability. And I find it. Um, f- um, fascinating you bring in vulnerability in the program called transformation mastery is this a bit like um <laughs> like a bit uh i won't say strange i would say that <clears throat> in order to master the transformation i need to be vulnerable it seems like that is a message <clears throat> yeah yeah and, but 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 not just like in a mm, in a way that feels exposed or something, but in a, so when, when, when we talk about self as instrument, part of what that means for me is that I expose my humanness to you in service of you growing. Mm. So, so I might, so I might uh, tell you how, what you did makes me feel not not to uh, uh, express myself particularly, but because maybe there's something in me, me revealing that that helps you see yourself and how you impact people. Mm. And so I'm, I'm willing to, I, I don't just come from a place, I mean, I, I, I can sometimes come from a place of like mm, thinking I'm the expert or um, uh, whatever, but, but when I'm at my best, I come from the place of using my humanness to reflect you to yourself. Mm. Mm. And let me sit with that for a moment. It's like, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. You said that I think in the few minutes ago, using myself as an instrument, and then you share additional me as a reflection of you, the other party. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, you also said that being expert may be, there may be more than being an expert. So I felt that there's a bit of um, tension in me that Mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. as an expert that I may need to be mm-hmm. providing something mm-hmm. at the same yes. time yes. I need to be like a mirror uh-huh. yes and also bringing my vulnerability and as a human being so I find that there's a bit of tension in me mm-hmm between the, the, the expert and that being human and reflecting. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, right. See, you're doing it right now. So you're using yourself as instrument mm. by by t- describing that tension mm. in you and that there that there is a tension. Mm. And that and that creates for I mean my experience is that creates more space right now. It creates a deeper so, so when I answer from expert and, it, and it, it's it's not that there's something wrong with expert. It's that there's something limiting with expert. Mm. Sometimes it's useful to use, 
But if I think that I always have to be the expert, then I'm going to be sadly off. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to the next question. Vulnerability is something that we seldom talk about, especially in the business world. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and they and 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 if I'm gonna wear the expert mode, it's like what will the potential practitioner think about this? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. What do they perceive the program is like? It's so yeah. different from so-called expert mode training program. Yeah. Right. 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 Well, it's a it's a mastery training program, mm -hmm. right? Which is beyond expert. It, it. I mean, it contains expert. You, you. You have to. You certainly have to be authoritative about certain things that you know about. You know agile processes about um, organizational cultures about leadership development about um, uh, flow in organizations you know uh, value flow and and um, and work flow mm. but if if i just hold it from that expertise i'm going to miss the mark i'm not going to i'm not going to connect with real people and, mm -hmm. and where they're really at, we're gonna we're gonna argue at a mental level, or or I'm gonna try to convince them, and some people will push back, and some people will go oh, okay, and then they won't do it, right? Mm -hmm. If I can if I can connect all of my body mind, I'll reach people in a deeper way, and then my expertise I can match my expertise to who they actually are and what the situation they're actually in. Yes, what I said is like by putting the expert mood aside, I help to connect with my counterpart by yes by making the connection with yes. the, with the counterpart. Yes. yes, yes. And so far, we have discussed your role as sente and systematic alchemist. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just wonder, or bring back to one of the topics that you talk about, the, the stress or the tension being you having another role as a founder and CEO of the company. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can share mm -hmm. a bit with us, mm -hmm. what is the mm -hmm. tension like? Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good question. Is it, it's, well, one thing uh, is it just even there. There are different mindsets in a lot of ways, and and you know I have to switch from from one kind of set of tasks and perspectives and expertise and whatever to a very different kind. And part of the challenge for me is like deciding when am I supposed to do that? You know, sometimes it's really obvious and sometimes it's, it's not as obvious. So, so that creates tension in me, certainly, which perspective and, and which perspective am I instinctively coming from? Mm. Right. And how can I put on both hats or all three or four hats or something mm. and really take all those perspectives? Mm. Um, an, another example is as a, as a teacher, um, you know, I, I work with a, a, a students in a given, uh, domain in a given system. Um, uh, and as a, as the CEO, I have to think about the whole business and mm -hmm. the viability of the business, which mm -hmm. includes marketing and, and promotion and, um, uh, finances and, billing and you know payables and you know uh, mm. have, do we have everybody paid up and um, and what should we offer next that the market's actually going to respond to mm, mm. and those are I, I wouldn't call those in like strong conflict per se but they definitely don't have the same interests or perspectives mm. and so mm, 
yeah, I mean, it, 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 uh, it's challenging sometimes knowing which perspective to take mm. or, or which, or which, which perspectives to alternate. Mm. What mindset am I in? It, 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 you know, like I say, am I, am I acting without even thinking about it from one without knowing that I'm acting from the CEO instead of a teacher? Mm -hmm. Yes. I can imagine that this many head kind of like you said that 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 you're conscious about it. I I want to get a bit more because as some of my our audience and listener are leaders and I believe they are also being asked by different stakeholders, maybe on a conflicting uh, wish goals. And yeah. maybe you can share with us what is your thought process or feeling when we, you receive this kind of conflicting demand? What's my top, uh, what did you say, my top one? Uh, share with us how, not how, what is your thought process or your feeling when you have you when you sense that there are conflicting demands um that's a hard question to i, I mean we, we've been talking about that a little bit and, and mm. that that was some of my thought process mm. um you know, some, some, I guess some other part of it is, um, I, you know, talk to my, um, uh, uh colleagues, my partners, mm -hmm. get, get different perspectives, get the, get a feedback of, you know, what perspective am I coming from? Mm -hmm. Try to take, you know, uh, integral is, is very, um, big in, 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 for me personally and in how I teach. And so the idea of integral is, uh, an integral perspective or, or an integral way of being is that we believe that, um, that all perspectives have truth in them, but they're partial. So mm. everybody is right, but only partially. Mm, mm, mm. And, and that's a, mm, on the, on the one hand that creates a certain tension, like, you know, I want to know which one is right, right? There's a, there's mm. a drive in us to know which perspective is right. Um, and it creates relief on the other hand, like mm, they're all right. Mm -hmm. They're all useful. And, and, and the more perspectives that I can take, you know, can I take my perspective as CEO? Can I take my perspective as teacher? Can I take uh, my COO's perspective, you mm. know, uh, in, in terms of how she sees things and what she's trying to accomplish, mm. you know, my, my, uh, um, delivery partner, mm -hmm. I take his perspective and what's, and what's our perspective together, mm. you know, it, get, it gets a little bit, uh, it's a little bit hairy. <laughs> yes. I think <laughs> you have just demonstrate vulnerability by asking perspective mm. from another party considering yeah. that they view you as maybe they view you more than the teacher they view you as the ceo yeah. and the leader yeah. and yeah. that itself yeah. is yeah. a demonstration of vulnerability and i sense that you are very heavy into integral theory mm -hmm. I, I was so curious what helped you to stay with the integral theory and not picking up the expert mode? Well, um, I, mm, I, I mean, I do embody the expert mode in integral theory sometimes. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, I know a, a, a great deal about it. I've studied it for a very long time. So I have a lot of, you know, expertise that I can bring about that. So it's so, so sometimes I don't avoid that. And sometimes it's useful. And sometimes it becomes too much. Sometimes I lecture too much or, or I'm too fascinated with, um, you know, I'm, I'm an integral geek, you might say. And, um, you know, geeks like to talk about, you know, what they find really fascinating. And, I, and, and that's true for me. Mm. And, and I, I have to do the same thing that I'm talking about. Like, 
sense into or connect with the person or, or with the system, not just an individual person, but also with a system, right? Like, like in our cohorts, you know, we have our cohorts are, are truly self-organizing systems that have mm. multiple containers in, in them. You know, mm. they have a, the whole system container, 18 uh, participants and, you know, uh, four uh, teaching faculty in some way. Mm -hmm. um, they have a tr triad, you know, that they, they work with uh, pretty much every week. They have um, a relationship with a mentor that's, that's in the teaching group. Um, they have a relationship as the, as the whole thing and, and then all kinds of ad hoc things. And then the teaching team has a relationship mm. and it gets really hairy. It's not, we don't have a script. It gets, it gets very, um, you know, it's just like the work that uh, transformational coaches, enterprise coaches are doing, you know, it's with a system that's changing all the time. Mm. And, and that has a, you know, we as the co-leaders can can obviously influence it a lot, but we certainly can't control it. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah. We have to keep coming back to what's our intention? What are we trying to do? How how is the system responding? How is the system meeting that? Are they checked out? Are they on a different plane? Mm. You know, in, in the first cohort, people had a lot of uh, understandable anxiety about the details of the competencies. Mm -hmm. and, and there was a quality of it being like a checklist yes. that they needed to fill. fill you know, and there, there, there is that quality. There is that aspect of the competencies um, that they are very detailed and you have to have certain evidence for them, mm. you know, established by uh, IC Agile that, you know, uh, that I worked with for a long time to, to create this set of competencies. Um, <clears throat> uh, so, so we, we, so, so, you know, we sense that in the system that there was this, you know, stir, there was this disturbance mm. around that. And um, we had a special session and we, we, we got down to, you know, the most important thing is not that checkbox level. It's you will want to do that at some point. That's what seals it up. That's what you know creates a certain level of groundedness and integrity of the whole thing. Is that we really do that, you know, sort of right hand quadrant level. But the first thing is, what do we ourselves think? If if I asked you, do you have the competency what that we've been talking about of? Um, uh, holding that your own sense-making capacity is mm -hmm. your most important tool of transformation. Mm -hmm. Do you, you know, asking them whether they do that, forget whether your mentor says it is, forget whether I say uh, 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 that's true. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you perceive? Mm -hmm. You're the most important uh, judge yes. of that. Yes, yes. If, you, if you don't sense that yourself, if you're, or if you're inaccurate about how you sense that, or you don't own, if you don't own your competence or you don't own your blind spots. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. And that, that shit, that, that was it. So that was a sense-making exercise, right? Mm -hmm. Sensing this anxiety and whatever, and then taking an action, creating a new exchange, creating a, a, a special container. Mm. And it was very enlightening for, for all of us. You know, it, it was, it, it emerged how important, you know, the self appraisal mm. was and how it was the foundation, not, not, you know, do I meet some other, you know, socialized mind wants to meet that other checklist and approval, right? Mm. Self-authoring mind, let alone self-transforming mind, integral mind. My own perception is definitely, and, and my, my perception of my impact in the world Right. I, I, I mean, I <clears throat> when I teach, I f actively feel my own competence. I feel my mastery as a teacher. Mm. It's obvious to me. It, it's, it's not that I'm uh, perfect or don't screw up, but I can I, I it's, it's a live demonstration. I can, I, you know, you can feel people shift. Mm. 
Wow. And if I don't have a sense of that and ownership of that, I'm not going to be nearly as effective. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm not going to get to a level of mastery. Mm. Well, thank you for sharing your sense making. I won't say process, it's like what goes through your mind or your body when you're doing sense making. At the same time, you bring in, you couple with a perspective of uh, action logic. Yeah. Yes, I think that is very uh, crucial, right? Because uh, you are beyond one role, you have multiple roles, and that requires a certain type of action logic to handle the complexity. What, I, should we tell people what action logic is if they don't know? Uh, maybe you can share a brief, brief. <laughs> Why you brought it up, pal? <laughs> yes. What, 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 like? how, how would you describe it? I'll, I'll, I'll add on. But... <laughs> yes. For me, right, I, I, maybe I use an example, like what you just uh, yeah. share. If I'm a student, yeah. if I'm an expert, I would say that, okay, what I need to have so that I go through all the checkbox so that I make sure I score or uh, I fulfill right. the requirement, yes. expert logic. Yes, yes, right. Then if I go to one level up, I will say that what are the different ways I can make sure that I achieve my objective, yes. right. my goals. Yes, right, right. And right. if I right. want to go further up, it's like, how will I help the collective or our cohort yes. to yes. move right. up whatever level they need yeah. to be? So yeah. that is how yeah. I would. Yeah share that yeah 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 yeah, yeah um uh, uh bill torbert uh suzanne cook writer um for people um uh yeah those uh, mm -hmm. expert achiever individualist strategist yeah similar to the altitudes well uh, uh, parallel to the altitudes in integral uh, mm -hmm. yeah and and yeah we, we certainly use that kind of thinking in the cohort to understand, you know, and it's, it's aimed at people that are probably at individualist to strategist kind mm -hmm. of a level. Somebody could, you know, somebody that's, that, that's uh, at an expert action logic level is probably not going to be attracted to our program. It's not going to feel structured enough or, um, uh, it's not going to feel checkboxy enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we, we had a we had an interesting piece of feedback. This was in a, a different um, uh, class master camp, but um, a, a woman had a really interesting uh, piece of feedback to us at the end, which was that um, I've never been uh, taught by people really treating me in an agile kind of a way as mm. that I've got to figure it out myself. Mm -hmm. And that, that that was a really sweet compliment it was or 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 acknowledgement and it was it was like it like sort of shook me out of like oh that's i never would have thought of it that way because because mm -hmm. you know i can be quite directive as a teacher sometimes as, as a sensei you know a sensei you know tells gives you direct instruction sometimes mm -hmm. to to help you point out something but not it's a it's a subtle thing actually um, so if, if I'm doing it from my expert, then I'm sure that I know what you need to do. And I want you to get my answer. Mm -hmm. If I'm, if I'm playing a more embodied sensei, then I know how to point out to you something, but if, if you don't see it, it doesn't matter what I think <laughs> if, if it doesn't happen within you, then it's completely irrelevant. And I, and I, I've missed the mark or. I haven't been able to be useful to you. Mm. Is that, is that? Yes. Sense? Yes. Yes. I think you bring out a very important distinction, right? Mm. The expert and the embodiment. I just wonder for the benefit of our audience and listener, mm. if a leader would like to like, attempt to move to the to another action logic mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the environment seems to be hostile or maybe not friendly mm -hmm. 
Is it something you can share with this leader that they would like to try to um, mm. Mm, try another action logic at the same time the environment seems mm. hostile? Well, like with um, uh, um, integral altitudes, you know, um, amber, orange, green, teal, <clears throat> you have to you have to meet people where they are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you, if you're, you know, most agile coaches uh, that I know are, are um, lighting up a pluralistic green kind of a level. That's what, but what, what their values are mm -hmm. often generally as a, as a community, obviously not in every case, they're all over the place. Um, but if, if I can't talk the language and see the world view of achievement orange, I'm not going to be successful in most organizations because that's where they live. Yeah. Now I might, I might work from having a little greater capacity also. So it's not that I'm just going to talk to them in achievement orange language, but if I can't get that worldview and, 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 and have it be okay, rather than vilifying it or criticizing it, mm. you know, if, 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 we can we can sense when somebody is judging us. Right? Yes, yes. So so if 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 I'm judging you in in working with you, um, you're probably going to resist, even mm. if you're not consciously aware of it. Mm. So there's got to be an embrace on some level, and and also holding a a a. Um, a, a broader more complex place as well more complex sense making that gives me more flexibility right in that get that, that that's what we're trying to do with our um uh, students in in transformation mastery is to give them more facility at different parts of the spiral different different uh, levels different action logics so that they can meet those and still work with them but also potentially invite them up to a uh, a little more complex of a level as well. Well, I can sense that the depth of, I would sense that the leader need to be have a depth. It's not like one level mm -hmm. or yeah. just one head. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And I think you bring in a uh, importance of embracing the whoever they are or who mm -hmm. wherever they are yes not leaving them <clears throat> i mean so people don't don't hire enterprise coaches to keep them where they are mm -hmm. right so 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 there is a tension or an urge to change to, to to grow to develop on the one hand and on the other hand there's you know the the system that you have was created by the mindset that you have right now mm. so so of course you know you may see the need to change but you're not going to be ready for it on some level mm. yes you bring so a very... there's some tension yeah, go ahead sorry go ahead no 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 go ahead so you bring a very important point don't leave them there right yeah especially if they're willing mm, so, so the way I talk about it is to, to reflect to a leader or anybody, you know, you've said that you wanted to do this thing to have um, greater team autonomy or something. And yet you're acting in this way that's pushing down their autonomy. Mm. And I can get that. I, I, it, I feel that conflict in me sometimes. What do you want to do about that? You say you want this, you're doing this. What, what should we do? Mm. not bad leader you shouldn't be doing that that's not at all helpful mm. and and not and not you're the client so you get to say what's right oh yeah i'll say whatever you know i'll, I'll, I'll oh yeah okay you're doing great no both one is one is a lie and the other is um uh, uh, a judgment mm. yes 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 so we have talked close to 40 minutes. I think we started to talk, we started the topic about a new program. And mm -hmm. then 
be related to your different role as a CEO and a leader. Mm -hmm. And finally, we wrap up about like what could be an effective enterprise coach be the being of a successful enterprise coach. And I felt that they, that you present a roadmap. Mm. It's not mm. either A or B, and it's mm. all this through the example that you just shared, the sense-making part, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, meet them where they are at the same time, holding an ideal or a higher uh, perspective. Yes, and, and, and matching their change urge, not your own, not your own mm. projection, but what they want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Great. Yeah. I'm, I'm just curious, you do you have a message or something on top of what you just share for our audience <coughs> and listeners? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, perfect. Um, good, good, uh, good summary. Thank you. Mm. for that that that's <clears throat> i just want to point out that that's part of sense making like i i wasn't taking that perspective of we've done this and we've done this and we've done this and that creates a place to stand to go forward on so mm. I, I appreciate that uh in you um a, a good podcast host skills I, I need i need to develop that myself thank you um <clears throat> So the, the message that was kind of coming up and I was looking for the place and your question is the perfect, I have the perfect response for me, which is um, <clears throat> that uh, the people that, that uh, get drawn to our program and I think get drawn to um, serious work as an enterprise coach, not just an expert, I know all these things, I know scaling, I know blah, blah, blah. Mm, that's not it. Um, but people that are really... Um, hungering to be able to help organizations transform and know that the that it's in them that that the, that that one of the biggest limitations lies um people like that are are the most advanced leaders in business right now mm. you know they they always want to influence um you know leaders in companies but usually they're more advanced than those other those leaders that they work with mm. and <clears throat> i think there's a maybe not a fully owning or getting that that people that are drawn to agile coaching and you know this kind of work in general are are amongst the most complex sense making uh, people around mm -hmm. and and they should they should own i want i want you all to own your leadership mm -hmm. you're you're great leaders and you're not in a leadership position sometimes as a as a coach or you may not see yourself that way but you are I can sense that the expansion of the space that we see ourselves with a role of leadership. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Is it a good time that we pause this conversation? Yes, I think it is. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. You, you, uh, <clears throat> you really good at being um at creating as i told you before at creating a deep i guess you could call it safe but <clears throat> a deep expansive um space where we can have a dialogue and when where we didn't i feel good about not talking too fast thank you appreciate your sense making thank you Thank you very thank you for the invitation.